everyone I've got another short quick ride for you on the wonderful uh, Triumph Street Scrambler here oh it's very windy out today but that doesn't bother me because I'm on this beautiful bike right here and it really is a very very pretty bike now this uh, street Scrambler here has the uh, same engine as you'll find on the Street Twin. So that's the uh, 900cc parallel twin with a 270 degree crankshaft. And it produces the uh, same horsepower figures basically. So that's about, uh, I think, 60-ish horsepower and, uh, well, a lot of torque. And even though it has these um, fairly low horsepower figures, the torque just really makes up for it. You're not going to slide off the seat when you accelerate, but it's it's more than enough for this this, this bike. It also helps that it it feels very light and agile. It feels like you can place it wherever you want, and it handles pretty nice. Even when you're standing still, it doesn't. It weighs a lot less. Well, not a lot, it weighs a little bit less than the previous one, but you can feel it when you're handling it, when you're uh, standing still. It does make a difference. Now, if you compare it to the, the previous Scrambler, like I said, it, it's, a, it's a little bit lighter, and the whole bike just feels a little bit more lively and a little more fun to drive. It feels a lot more responsive in throttle uh, application and such. If you compare it to, say, a Ducati Scrambler, this comes very, very much closer to that, that lively and fun spirit that the Scrambler has. Now, I don't know if you can hear it very well with the uh, microphone setup that I have here, but the sound... Oh, it's really good. It sounds really nice. Now, the brakes... They're okay. You can see the application is more than enough. Just two finger application and it breaks fine. Even though you only have uh, the one caliper and uh, disc at the front. Uh, but they certainly work well enough and the application feels fairly direct. It doesn't feel like it's uh, you know, like, like soggy or anything. So that's, um, well, I like that. As for the, uh, the dash right here, uh, you've got your usual suspects up here. You've got uh, a gear indicator. You've got your clock. Uh, oh, you can even see RPM up here. I didn't know that. That's nice. Uh, you've got some trip computers. Your distance till empty. Um, consumption, all that. That's really good. I'm going to keep it on the uh, RPM. RPMs are good. Porque. Ooh, he didn't like that. Now this bike does come with standard ABS, which works, and traction control, which works too. One other disadvantage that I found is uh, right here, where the gear shifter is. I'm having a hard time putting my, my foot under it, uh, even though it's set up in the, the right angle. Um, I'm wearing these big riding boots and I yeah like enduro type boots and I have a hard time putting my feet under there to, to shift up um, I guess you could just readjust it but uh, this it, it's in a standard setting right now and it doesn't uh, it's not really conducive let's say to shifting Now the riding position feels very good to me. I like sitting a bit more upright rather than leaning forward. And these wide handlebars, they give me a, like a real comfortable place to, to put my hands. I'm sitting quite upright. The knee angle, the hip angle, it, it's all quite good. It's all quite comfortable. Um, and the seat itself is also, uh, you know, it's not bad. I'm sitting fairly forward right now. It doesn't cut into my, uh, my thighs as I've had with some other bikes. So, um, that's certainly a plus right there. A 
does look rather good, doesn't it? With the spoke wheels, those those trail kind of tires. Got this nice little touch here in the headlight, as all Triumphs have recently. You've got the nice high exhaust, which, which doesn't really bother you sitting on the inside of your leg. Uh, you can get like um, an exhaust like this on the Street Twin as well, but it sits out much further. It's a bit uncomfortable. This one is really good. Got uh, all these details, of course, you can get like accessories for that. You can get like uh, a little guard for this on the front. It's really good. Yeah, she's a beauty, ain't she? I gotta say, I really, really like this bike. Uh, the styling of it really, really suits me. It's something that I'm, I'm really fond of anyway. And it's just, not only is it fun to ride, but it's also very easy to ride. I mean, especially for new riders, I would very much recommend this bike. It's not too powerful. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to get yourself into a seriously dangerous situation. But why would you want to? It's just, it steers so well and, oh, yeah, I really like it. Honestly, if I was in the, in the market for a second bike, this one would be very, very high up the list. Well, that's it for today. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you liked the review, please leave a like down below. It's time to bring uh, the bike back now to the dealer. Thank you all for watching, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.